Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yamini and in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the microchemical test for wheat. Okay, so here we will talk about the microchemical test for wheat and I'll directly tell you the procedure and the chemicals that are required for different type of tests. Okay, first one is the test for carbohydrate. For carbohydrate testing, we use Mollish reagent along with the concentrated H2SO4. Okay, for the test of starch, we use iodine solution. For the test of protein, we use Millen's reagent. And for the testing of fat presents, we use Sudan 3. Now, let us begin. For testing the carbohydrate presents, we take 1 ml of the material. Now, what this material is? It is your grounded wheat flour. Okay? Now, we add 2 to 3 drops of Mollish reagent to it. And then we add 2 ml of concentrated H2SO4 through the side of the test tube. Now, what we will observe is the appearance of purple color which means that the carbohydrate is present in the wheat. Second one is for the test of starch, we take 1 ml of the material and then we add few drops of iodine to it. This will result in the formation of blue-black color, right? Which means that the starch is also present in the wheat grain. Talking about the test for protein, we take 1 ml of material and we add few drops of Millen's reagent. This results into the appearance of white color precipitate which on boiling will change to brown color. Talking about the test for fat, we take 1 ml of the required material and then we add 2 to 3 drops of Sudan 3. And there will be presence of red color. But, and there will be presence of red color. But as you know that there will be less amount of fat or no amount of fat, so it would be very rare to find it. Okay, so this is how we carry out the microchemical test for wheat. And in the similar manner, we will conduct the microchemical test for rice as well in the next video. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe my channel.